brain of the Powerhawk P16 rescue system is the PC100 controller unit. The PC100 receives input from the P16 rescue tool trigger switch and allows 12 volts DC power to be delivered to the rescue tool for operation. Special electronics within the PC100 sense electrical current and automatically cut power to the tool when maximum force is reached. When this happens, the user should reverse the direction to relieve the load and then reposition the tool. The Powerhawk P16 rescue system can be stored with a PC100 controller unit fully connected. This is recommended for faster on-scene response. Prior to making electrical connections, make sure all connectors are clean and free from dirt and debris. Power cable connectors are color-coded. Yellow plugs are only used to deliver controlled 12-volt DC from the controller unit to the rescue tool. Red plugs are used to supply 12 volts DC power to the controller unit from a source such as a Powerhawk power pack, direct vehicle hookup, 12 volt DC battery, 12 volt DC generator, and so on. The yellow and red connectors are configured differently and cannot be connected together. Do not attempt to attach different colored connectors. Attach the CA4M power cable with the decal connect to Powerhawk tool to the rescue tool cable connector. The small control wire connectors must be aligned, then screwed together by hand. The large connectors snap into place when properly attached. Connect the other end of the power cable to the controller unit. The control wire connector must be aligned with the case mounted receptacle and then tightened by hand. The power wire connector snaps into the case mounted connector labeled power output. It's a good idea to connect the threaded control wire first before connecting the larger yellow connectors. This will make aligning the control wire tabs and screwing the connector together easier by not fighting the heavier wire. At this point, it's important to point out that the rescue tool and the controller unit are serialized as a matched set and should be used as such. All power supplied to the rescue tool must run through the controller unit. Never attach the rescue tool directly to any power source as it could result in uncontrolled operation of the power head and create the risk of serious personal injury or damage. This video has been created as a supplement to the Powerhawk P16 rescue system and power pusher owner operation and maintenance manuals.